Hi guys! Good day! It's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today class is we're going to determine whether or not each of the following points is a solution of the inequality given equation y less than 2x squared plus 3x minus 5. Now, to determine class if this points is a solution of this inequality, you just simply substitute class the value of x and the value of y. Once again, class, if you have this following points, you need to think about the ordered pair, class. Just remember the ordered pair. How to determine that would be our x and that would be our y? Simple, class. This first number, okay, this will be our x and the second number is our y. Just remember, class, the ordered pair in Cartesian plane, x and y. So, once again, this negative 1, negative 5, 0, negative 3, negative 1 half, 2, on the left side, this is our x value. On the right side, that would be our y value. So our y, that would be 6, 10, 0, 4, 2, and 9. So let's start with letter A. So once again, this is x, this is y. So just simply substitute this value from this given equation. So let's write the equation. y less than 2x squared plus 3x minus 5. So, once again, our y is 6. You start with letter A class. Let's check if it's a solution or not. So, if it's true, therefore, that is a solution. If it's false, therefore, that is not a solution. So, let's check. Substitute the value of y. So, our y is 6. So, 6 less than then 2. So, our x is negative 1. So, once again, class, we start with letter A. So, our x is negative 1. So, negative 1 then squared plus 3, our x is negative 1, minus 5. So, once again, plus the 6 came from this y. Okay, our y is 6, the ordered pair, x and y. And 2, then parenthesis. So, if we have a variable together with a number, it means multiplication. If we have 3x, it means 3 times x. That's why I put parenthesis, 3 times negative 1. And you will be asking, sir, where did you get negative 1? This negative 1 class is our x value. Okay, x is negative 1. Simply substitute x and y. So simplify, this will be 6, then less than. Once again, do not multiply class 2 and negative 1. It should be parenthesis exponents. PEMDAS class. Do you still remember PEMDAS? Parenthesis exponents multiplication division addition subtraction so parenthesis exponents comes first before multiplication so simply copy 2 simplify this one negative 1 raised to the power of 2 it means you multiply this negative 1 by itself twice that would be negative 1 squared it means negative 1 times negative 1 negative 1 times negative 1 that is positive 1 so this will be 2 times positive 1 then 3 times negative 1, that's negative 3, minus 5. Alright, so this will be 6, less than 2 times 1 is 2, minus 3, then minus 5. So this will be 6, less than 2, so if you have both negatives, so if you have this kind of equation, plus you have both negatives, simply copy negative sign, then just add the number, 3 plus 5, that is 8. Once again, class, negative 3 minus 5, that will be negative 8. If you, have, if you have both negatives, simply copy negative sign, then just simply add the numbers. 3 plus 5, that is 8. So, negative 8. So, this will be 6 less than 2 minus 8. So, 2 minus 8, that's negative 6. So, once again, 2 minus 8, we have positive 2, negative 8. If the signs are not the same, you subtract 8 minus 2, that is 6. Then 8 is greater than 2, so we copy the negative sign. So 2 minus 8, that's negative 6. Alright, so is positive 6 less than negative 6? Is it true that positive 6 is less than negative 6? Nope. Positive 6 is greater than negative 6. It's not less than plus. So 6 is greater than, not less than. So this is false. So if this is false, therefore, number 1... This equation, okay, this points is not a solution of this inequality equation. So, this is not. So, once again, if this is false, therefore, our answer is not. If it's true, therefore, our answer a solution. Alright, so number one is false. So, let's try number two. 
So once again, simply substitute the value of x and y. So our y for number 2, that is 10. So this is our y value on the right side. So that would be 10. Less than 2, copy the equation plus, copy 2. Then our x is negative 5. So put parenthesis, then negative 5 squared. Plus 3, then our x is negative 5. Minus 5. So, copy 10. Once again, 10 came from our y. Our value of y is 10. Less than, so once again, do not multiply parenthesis exponents. So, copy 2, then negative 5 squared. It means you multiply this negative 5 by itself 2 times. So, this is negative 5 times negative 5. That's positive 25. Then, 3 times negative 5. That's negative 15 minus 5. Once again, plus, do not be confused with negative 5 squared. It means negative 5 times negative 5. Negative 5 times negative 5, that's positive 25. Alright, so this will be 10 less than 2 times 25, that is 50, minus 15, minus 5. So once again, plus, if you both have negative, so let me copy just one first. 10 less than 50, if you both have negative, simply copy negative sign, then combine the numbers. 15 plus 5, that is 20. So this will be 10 less than 50 minus 20, that is 30. So you can actually subtract this one plus 50 minus 15, that's 35, minus 5, that's 30. You will get the same answer class. It depends on you, which do you prefer. But for me class, if you have this kind of equation, I will take it this way. If you if you both if you have both negatives, simply copy negative sign, then just add the number fifteen plus five that is twenty. So negative fifteen minus five, copy negative sign, then add fifteen plus five that is twenty. So we have negative twenty. Fifty minus twenty that is thirty. So is ten less than thirty? Is ten less than thirty? Yup, ten is less than thirty. Ten is less than thirty. So this is true. Alright, so if it's true, therefore, this number 2 is a solution. So, this is a solution. Alright, so number 2 is a solution. So, let's try number 3. So, what if the, the teacher will give you this one, 0 and 0. So, let me just write the equation in this part. So, y less than 2x squared plus 3x minus 5. So our y on the right side, that is 0. So 0 less than 2, then x is 0. So 2 times 0 squared plus 3 times 0 minus 5. So once again, our x and y are 0. So y is 0 and x is 0. So simplify 0 less than, copy 2, then 0 times 0, that would be 0. You multiply 0 by itself twice. It says squared. So 0 times 0 is 0. Then 3 times 0. That is 0. So you can just simply cancel this out. 3 times 0 is 0. So cancel this out. The remaining will be negative 5. And then this is 0 less than 2 times 0 plus. That is 0. So you can just simply cancel this out. And the remaining is negative 5. Easy, right? So, is 0 less than negative 5? Is 0 plus less than negative 5? Nope. 0 is greater than negative 5. Just to remember, class, the number line, you have 0, the negative numbers on the left, right, and positive numbers on the right. So, therefore, this 0 is greater than, this is greater than negative 5. Because 0 is going to the, going to the right, that is, those, those are positive numbers. Going to the left, those are negative numbers. So therefore, 0 is greater than negative 5. It's not less than. So this is not. Alright, so this is not. Easy, right? So let's try. Let's try number 4. So let's try number 4 and 5 plus. Then you try number 6 plus. You put your answer in the comment section down below. So you try number 6. Let's try number 4. So our y is 4. So this will be 4. 4 less than 2. Then our x is negative 3. 
negative 3 squared plus 3, then x is negative 3. So once again, class, ordered pair on the right, y, on the left, that is x. Okay, on the right is y, and on the, on the left side, this is x values. So 4 for y, then 2, then x is negative 3 squared plus 3, then negative 3 for x minus 5. So this will be 4 less than, copy 2. Once again, do not multiply. It should be parenthesis exponents. So 2, then negative 3 squared. It means negative 3 times negative 3. That's positive 9. Then positive 3 times negative 3. That's negative 9 minus 5. So this will be 4 less than 2 times 9. That is 18 minus 9 minus 5. So once again, you can subtract this one, or for me, I will just simply copy this one. Copy 4 less than 18, then combine this one. If you both have negative, simply copy negative sign, then add the numbers 9 plus 5, that is 14. And 4 less than 18 minus 14, that is 4. So once again, plus you have two solutions. You can have this solution for less than then subtract this one 18 minus 9 that is 9 18 minus 9 that is 9 minus 5 4 less than 9 minus 5 that is 4 same answer plus so it depends on you you can subtract 18 minus 9 is 9 minus 5 that is 4 same answer plus so but for me if you have 18 then you have both negative simply copy negative sign combine these numbers 9 plus 5 is 14 negative 14 subtract that is 4 is 4 less than 4? Nope, it's not 4 is equals to 4. It's not less than 4. So this is not. This is false class. So therefore, this is not a solution set. So this is not. Alright, last one class. For last one, it's quite complicated. We have fractions. So this will be... So this will be y is 2, so copy 2, our y is 2, then less than 2, then x is negative 1 half, so that will be negative 1 half, then squared, plus 3 times negative 1 half, minus 5, so this will be 2, less than, so 2, then negative 1 half, times negative 1 half, you multiply negative one half by itself twice, so negative one half times negative one half. This will be negative one times negative one. That's positive one. Two times two is four. That would be one fourth. Two times one fourth. All right, and then positive three times negative one half. So three times negative one half. This will be, so understood that there's 1 here, 3 times negative 1, that's negative 3. 1 times 2 is 2. So that would be negative 3 over 2. So minus 3 over 2, minus 5. Alright, so this will be 2 less than, so can we reduce class before multiplying? Can we reduce 2 and 4? Yep, we can reduce this 1 by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2. Once again, 2 times 1 fourth, you can actually multiply that 1 plus. 2 times 1 is 2. Understood that there's 1 here. 1 times 4 is 4. But since we can reduce this 2 over 4, 2 divided by... You cannot divide plus, but we can reduce. You can divide this 1 by 2. Once again, 2 divided by 4, you will get a decimal answer. And it will be really complicated if you're dealing with decimals. So just simply reduce plus. Can we reduce... Yep, we can reduce this 1 by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So that would be 1 half. Or you can just simply reduce this 1 class before multiplying. Because it will be complicated class if you multiply with large numbers. So just simply reduce. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So this will be 1 times 1 is 1. And then copy 2. 1 half minus 3 over 2 minus 5. So, this will be 2 less than 1 minus 3. Once again, if you are combining fractions, if they have the same denominator, simply copy, then subtract. 1 minus 3, that's negative 2. 
minus 5. So once again, if they have both the same denominator, simply copy the denominator, then subtract the numerator. That's the rules in fractions class. Same denominator, copy, then subtract the numerator. So 1 minus 3, that's negative 2. Can we divide negative 2 by 2? Yup, we can divide negative 2 divided by 2. That's negative 1. So this will be 2. Alright, less than. So negative 2 divided by 2, that's negative 1. Minus 5. So 2 less than. Negative 1 minus 5, that's negative 6. Is 2 less than negative 6? Nope. 2 is greater than negative 6. So this is not. Alright, so this is not. So that's it, class. That's how you solve, class. That's how you determine whether or not each of the following points is a solution of the inequality. Just simply substitute, class. So you try number 6 and you put your answer in the comment section down below. Let me check if you really understand our topic. Once again, this is Teacher MJ. I hope you learned something new today. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. You share it to your friends and to your classmates so that we can help more students. Bye for now, class. Bye-bye.